the difficult part. I take them to the market and I take them to the slaughterhouse and they can smell it. That's one reason they don't want to come out of the trailer because they feel the stress. Got a very long surname called Sivalingam Vasanta Kumar, but everybody knows me as Kumar. It's easy to remember. I come from Sri Lanka, and mainly all my grandparents, we go several generations, all farming community. The dish I serve, it's called Masala Dosa. So it's a vegetarian, vegan meal, and a healthy meal. I always wanted to farm, but the issue for me was taking livestock for slaughter. It was a big issue for me to say, why am I doing it, why am I doing it? But I carried on doing it because I just couldn't tell anybody. Couldn't tell my farmer friends, their contractors, you know, if you start telling them, hey, I can't do this anymore, they go, oh, you, come on, you became very, you, you're soft now. I fed them and, and then they, I loaded them in the trailer. It was hard. but I make a connection with the animals. Yeah. Livestock, all animals have feelings. All animals have, there's a fear in them. Now we need to find a sanctuary to take them where they go as a flock rather than splitting them. And we did quite a lot of research and came across a good heart animal sanctuary. And they said they'll take my 21 lambs. It's a moment to say, no more livestock farming for me. I took 21 boys um, from this batch uh, to the sanctuary and um, this is all, they're all related and they, it, it's a very close flock. Come on, come on. But I still got 80, uh, about 70 odd ewes. <laughs> I'm happy they're watching them and uh, I don't have to even think that they're going to be taken to a slaughterhouse or to a market. You can't talk about monetary value for that. You're a good girl. I mean, my message was, you know, give up livestock farming. That's my personal decision to do it. But I had a lot of other farming friends. I mentioned to them and they, they did say that they felt the same when they take the animals to slaughterhouse. Uh, so every farmer feels that, but it's their livelihood. So they have to take them. I must go now. <laughs> yeah. The main reason is a lot of them, it's generation of, livestock farming. The son follows the father. It goes on five generations, six generations. That's what they did. That's, a, that's what they know. And also, it should come from your own conscious. And that, that's where it, it will change. But it's a slow process. It's not going to happen overnight. So we'll hope for the best.